how much does my Airbnb make me? What's up fellow Earthlings? Today we're talking about how much my Airbnb makes me. But first, the shout out of the day right here. Thanks to this person for commenting on my channel. And if you want to be shouted out next, go ahead and comment down below and you may just be the next one. By the end of this video, I'll tell you how much I make per month on Airbnb. But first, let's get this video to 100 likes, guys. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it. And here we are guys, a guest just left about two days ago. So we have to get in here and clean everything. We leave it sit for about a day or two. So that way if the virus is in there, it has time to die off. First, let's start over here with the battery. So this is a marine battery and uh, it's a marine and RV battery they call it. It's one of the biggest batteries you can get. You wanna get one of these and then you wanna get that genius uh, power box down there. So if you guys have an RV, you're planning on turning this into a little Airbnb yourself, uh, that power box will save your life. It'll keep this, babe, this bad boy right here charged up. That charger right there costs 120, maybe $130 as well. That comes from the house charging this battery. This battery costs about $100, $120 at AutoZone. Make sure you get a full warranty on any batteries you're putting on your RV or your car or anything really, because if that battery goes bad, you can just replace it for free every time. So I replace this battery probably once a month, not because I want to, but because of our guests leaving the lights on in the RV and then leaving for hours and hours on end. Uh, but it will save your life. That battery will stay, stay charged up as long as they don't leave those lights on for five, six hours. Let's go ahead and look around the rest of the RV, guys. I put stepping stones in here so that they can walk on around and then they have a little grill area over here. And um, I put a little umbrella. This umbrella I got from Chick-fil-A actually and I just put it in here so that they can uh, kind of have a, a shady spot to chill in. We found this, uh, this bench at a job as well and I just put some new uh, two by fours on it and, and called it a day. Actually, this bench is really cool. It's one of those benches that, um, that flip. I'll show you here, I'll take the snake down. So this bench can flip into an actual seat so it can be a table or it can be a seat. And uh, I leave it in this table position because in this position it's both, you know? They come out here, they work with their laptop or whatever. They can uh, plug into the outlets that are right on the side of the RV. And back here, um, I, I don't like people to walk back here because of this uh, RV sewage hose. That RV sewage hose costs about $15, $16 on Amazon, and I replace it probably once every two months I replace that. So that's an expense I have to uh, um, keep up on because if that thing cracks and gets brittle, um, it, just, it just leaks the shit out everywhere. So I make sure that I replace it and stay up to date on that sewage hose. So these are my stairs that I built out of cinder block. I got all of the cinder block from a job, so none of this cinder block I paid for. Almost everything here uh, that I use in my Airbnb, I got for free. Uh, so yeah, I took advantage of my junk removal business to make this place what it is. All right, so let's go into the RV. Uh, just a tip, if you have stairs or any steps like this, make sure to put some yellow tape or some kind of caution. All right, come on to the RV. This is our Airbnb, guys. We call it the Gecko Hideaway. I made a video in the past stating that I bought this RV for about $500. Like I said, I bought this RV for $500 off of a job. I was clearing this RV out of all the junk at one point about a year and a half ago, and the dude was trying to sell the RV, it ended up being. So I said, let's just leave the junk in there. I made him an offer. Long story short, I got the RV for 500 bucks. I put about two thousand, maybe twenty-five hundred dollars into it. So as you can see, we've got a we got a beautiful freezer and refrigerator set up in here. Okay, guys. So we've got pots and pans in the cabinets. We've got a microwave. We've got a nice couch to chill on over here. We've got a table to eat at. We've got a TV to play at. 
and we've got a little hallway here that leads back into the bathroom. This is the bathroom area. This is the sink area. This is the mirror area. <laughs> Come on back here. This is the bedroom. This is our wonderful bed, guys. And yes, we do have a protective sheet to put on this. And uh, it's getting bleached right now along with the protective pillowcases. But let's go ahead and get into more of the expenses that we spend to keep this place running. So that way, by the end of the video, we know exactly what we make on the Airbnb. With the extra money we make from this RV, I can afford to hire an extra person in my business. Some of you may know that I have a junk removal business. That's basically what this channel started out as, but it's moved on to bigger, better, and badder things. I still love that side of things. But what I do love even more is making deals, making more things happen than just that one business and being able to work on that while my business is still running smoothly. So this Airbnb has been totally worth it to get hooked up. So that being said, while my wife is cleaning the RV for our guests to come in, I'm gonna go over all of our numbers so that you can understand how much money you can make off of having an RV on your property um, and what you have to do to kind of get it to that point. Let's dive into some numbers here, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and read them off my phone and I'm gonna post them right here. So basically, we're gonna start off with what I made in January of 2021. Actually, let's start off with some of the numbers from last year, guys. Let's go ahead and see what I made last year in 2020 for the whole year. Because we all know that that was a year everybody wasn't traveling that much because of the coronavirus. And I wanna show you how much I still made even though there was a lot less travel. For the entire year, I made $6,683, boom. 2020, I made $6,683, almost $7,000 in 2020, and I wasn't even open for all 12 months. Let's see what I made the first month of 2021. So we made $895 in January. We booked 23 days out of 31 days. So that means our occupancy rate was 88% for that month, and the average nightly range, they paid $30 to $37 a night. For that month. Um, I made a total of $125 in cleaning fees. So let's just call it $900 for January. Today I'm recording this. It's February 10th, guys, and I've made so far $529 in February. So now that we know the gross numbers that I pull in through Airbnb, let's go over all the expenses and what I actually am making per month. So we're just gonna use January of 2021 as an example, we made $900. Me personally, I have solar panels on my roof and that saves me a lot in electricity. I'm gonna go ahead and say the RV uses an average of maybe $15 per month in electricity. And my next expense is the battery. Believe it or not, people are not as smart as you think. And they leave the lights on even though I have in the rules to not leave the lights on or only use a couple of lights at a time. Anywho, we were talking about the expenses. Okay, so for the battery per month, I'm just gonna go ahead and put about $10 per month for the battery. Next is water bottles. We put water bottles in there and I would say we spend about $5 a month on water bottles. In a month, we probably go through a whole case of Keurig pods, and I would say that costs about $15 or so. Another thing that costs money is the mattress, and the pillow, and the pillowcases, and the sheets, and the quilts. All that stuff costs money. So I probably spent $250 on sheets, and quilts, and pillows, and, and the bed um, in one year. What I'm gonna do is uh, take that, take 250, divided by 12 months, and we got $20. Well, I guess I do spend money on cleaning and chemicals as well. We can add another $5 per month up there just to be generous with it. Let's not forget about those pesky sewage hoses. They're about $15 every two months, sometimes every month, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a $7 up there to make it easy. Whew. All right, so we've got 900 minus all of this crap right here equals $823. Now this is literally the closest number I'm gonna to get to exactly how much I make net. So, if you're thinking about getting your own Airbnb started and uh, you want a little bit of tips on how to get it started, maybe how, what pictures I'm using to put up or whatever, 
You can click the link down below right now and sign up for a power hour with me. That's one hour guys on the phone with me asking whatever you want, any questions at all. I'm very knowledgeable in different areas, not just junk removal, just so you know. Do it. Let's dive into it. Into it right now. Here we go.